Guys, I, I, I forget, I forgot to um, turn my headphones on. So I've been talking for like seven minutes. <laughs> I guess I should check the, uh, check the chat room often, more often. I saw someone uh, wrote, "Are you on mute?" It's the best seven minutes. It was probably the best seven minutes of David's life. It's loud, is it? Yeah, I'm a boomer. Fuck. So let's see here. Um, I did some serious rebalancing of my portfolio. What's going on here? What? See what we have. A cost is already bouncing a bit. Pre market. This one I covered up yesterday. AMC I covered up yesterday at the open and then it went down another 35%. And yeah. BB. Maybe BB could give us a short, uh, bounce play. Potentially. Silver I sold yesterday. I had to uh, free up buying power. And this plug is uh, this is a, f a five and a half star setup on a five star, uh, star scale. All I'm gonna say about plug. That's all I'm gonna say about pluggily plug. GME, I'm covering up pre-market now. Um, I don't see an edge for now on it. Hopefully it can put in a big bounce and then we'll see. Sense flag. 
Yeah. All right, let's see what we have here. All right, let's see. I think GM, if he can run up in, into this declining 65 and 20 EMAs, I think there will be an, a shorting opportunity over there. But it's still like, you know, 50% higher. So we'll see. Let's see here. There's some pretty decent setups, like W, it's a longer term flag, the Peloton looks really good, surfing the 50 day, Shuey looks really good, surfing the 20 square, I had it yesterday, got stopped out, I'm thinking about maybe rebuying it, CrowdStrike maybe, Plug, I mean that one is just... PDD I sold yesterday, I had to... Free up some buying power. Silver also. CRSP looks nice. Look, you're surfing the 50. Point looks interesting. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop calling out things. Th this is what happens. I, I'm I'm gonna stop it. This is the last time I I I, I tell something is uh, like. Th that's what happens. People are just front running. I'm so tired of it. That was the last time. All right. Good luck, everyone. Like I'm seeing it, you know, I've seen it many times now, like I mentioned a stock and it spikes. That's not what this room is supposed to be all about. It's not a pump room. I killed Beely. I don't know, it looks like it's up a lot. Well, not a lot, but it looks like it's up. So I'm, I'm not sure I killed it. The CH, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'll check them out later.
this BB actually on the 60 minute if it loses this 1150 range it has it's, it has room down to the 50 day which is like 20% lower it can't bounce at least not for now Oh, PDD. Fuck, I sold it yesterday. No. Okay. Uh, was it me selling selling after hours? I can't confirm or deny. But when the market had closed, I realized I had too much exposure. So Everything is having a follow through from yesterday. Pretty good. I just wish I hadn't sold that PDD. Tillery was epic. I wish I'd put more size. I was cautious with size. This uh, DT is a potential episodic pivot. It had good earnings and it's gapping up and it's gapping up over this six, seven, eight month base. And it's been building higher lows into this event. So this is a really good candidate. Okay, looks like I got stopped out of plug, damn. That thing looks so good. It's probably go gonna go later. That's what's annoying. They always stop me out. At first. And then they go. That's why you, you, you know. If it's a good setup, you need to be able to rebuy it. Without hesitating. Wick? What wick? I, I don't know anything. I may have sold 200,000 shares. But yeah. What? What do you mean? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> That's uh, the cost of doing business when you trade size. 
That's the way it is. Yeah, rip the people the front ran me. <laughs> I don't know if it was... I mean, it was just weird that it just spiked just as I said it was a 5.5 star setup. And it, then it spiked in pre-market. I've seen it several times before, but n not on these uh, liquid stocks. I've seen it on like illiquid stocks. So I, I pretty much never mention when I buy this, uh, illiquid stocks. I don't want people chasing it. and I, it's, it's just not what this community is all about. If you want that kind of stuff, go follow some, some of these pumpers on Twitter or YouTube, like that Warrior Trading and those guys. Some of these specs are looking great. SB, laser, these things look, I mean, these things look great. They really do. Look at this laser, been building higher lows. SBE also, higher lows are getting tighter. Wait, grocery store, oh wow, Macy's, yeah. this KSS grocery store is actually a pretty decent setup, having a follow through, uh, like a second breakout. GameStop. What does this thing look like? Hmm. I think it. Look at where it uh, stopped today on this dip, right on the 20 day on the daily. I think it could very easily bounce back to 150 or something. But am I gonna trade it? That's the question. If I see any, a tight intraday setup, I'm gonna go along it. This thing has an easily 50% upside intraday. Like it gets back to 150, it, it's 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 still gonna be lower than it was yesterday near the open. So TTD, I wish I bought it yesterday also. Really good setup and I would say follow through. But buying power issues. Well, right now GME looks a Okay, yeah, it's it's just constant selling pressure. That's that's what happens. No one is willing to buy at these levels.
FTCH, what's going on here? FTCH, yeah, a great follow through from yesterday's breakout. What's the other one? CLSK, yeah, oh, wow, wait, wait, wait. This is a coin related stock. This is the one that had the head and shoulders pattern. It's actually pretty good looking. Oh, too thin for me though. Pretty good. Crypto is heating up again, I think. I, I I did some of this PB short. Like these things are not bouncing, and this PB is just breaking this 1150 range I was talking about earlier. It could very easily go down there 50 day. It's just not bouncing. Yeah, Corsair. I saw that. It it looks pretty good. I saw it earlier, but yeah, it looks pretty damn good. Tiger. Yeah, this thing is just keeps going higher. Foot to two. What's Billy doing? Yeah. Hey guys, do you have issues on Ethereum and GBTC, on ETH and GBTC, the two pink sheets uh, uh, crypto trusts in TC2000? Like, I can't see yesterday's candle. Or, or yes, yeah, it, it, there's no candle there, right? Look, 2nd of February, there's nothing there. Yeah, I can't see it either. Super weird. Okay, so it's uh, system-wide, not, uh, not just me. I was doing the scans and I was like, wait, what? Where's the candle? <laughs> Actually, this GSX2, if it breaks this 82, what is it, 82, low 82s, this thing could have some continued selling too. TDD keeps grinding higher. TDD is actually breaking out of a nice looking flag on the 60. If you look at it, it's been building relentlessly higher lows. And now it's breaking out of another flag. This is the type of trades that have been... Oh, DT. Took out opening range highs. Yeah, very good looking EP. I didn't even bother doing numbers on it since it's too thin for me to buy anyway, so... Maybe I'll do it later. <clears throat> Net. Net is very shoppy. Um, I've traded it several times before, like last year. It's always very shoppy, but it is, yeah. If it can go sideways for a few weeks and tighten up, it would be really nice. What about Fastly? Oh, this one is actually starting to look really good. I remember when it gapped down on this day. I was heavily long it. I sold it. As fast as I could in after hours, or is it pre-market? I don't remember. And then it went down another like 35% after I sold it. That's what stops are for. But now it's setting up again. It's in a long base. This is what six, seven month base, and it's been building higher lows the past three months or so. And now it's getting really tight, and it's like building a little flag here. Oh yeah, I was doing options, but that was later, but that was in December. Yeah, I, I made a comment on Twitter on options. People didn't like it. I'll take it back. But I still haven't met someone that made a lot of money trading options, like over a long term. Over the long term. So I but I take back the second part of my statement. A 
chat with traders. He wants to do an interview with me. Really? Oh man. The second part was uh, I, I I said uh, I think options is a loser's game. But uh, obviously there are people that make a lot of money on options. I just haven't like I, I just can't recall a single person I've heard. Like for every like it's because it's so much harder. Mark, a breakout in Mark, it's not a good setup. It's not a good setup. You find options easier? Wait, the chat with traders guy? How do you know? Did he write to me? Man, I have so many mentions. Wait, wait, wait. Chat with traders. How, how do you know the chat with tra Oh, there it is. Oh, I see it. Oh, really? I didn't see that. Really? Wow. Should I do it? Yes, no, yes. Uh, he's, he's good, I, I've listened to him before. Man, that means I have to talk for like, what, 30 minutes, half an hour? Mm. Do I have the stamina to do it? Stop being a virgin, do it. <laughs> Man, I have to load up with some Noko if I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a Noko before and I'm gonna do a Noko during the interview. Don't do it, I might hurt myself. Yeah. The Discord already has a lot of low quality people. Oh. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> no, I'm gonna send David. <laughs> Fucking David. <laughs> yep, I see plug. Trust me, I see that one. QS, um, yeah, potentially not my type of setup. Oh, it's actually bouncing on the 20 weekly. That's interesting. And oh, nah, not my setup. I think it needs to build a little bit more. Yeah, it is reclaiming the 10 day. That's it hasn't been uh, above the 10 day since uh, late December. S P E O O.
SPE is moving. This laser also moving. Uh, like I'm really excited about this laser, but it looks really good. Not today maybe, but and this U also. Hope it doesn't break down. This this would be a five star setup for tomorrow. <sighs> What's this Corsair doing? Yeah, Corsair looks good. It's Airbnb. No, not Airbnb. Which was the one? Snowflake was the one yesterday. Yeah. Guilt, um, yeah, wow, looks good, looks really good, does look good. Oh, it has earnings in a few days. Uh, I hate when it. Oh wait, it's in six days. No, that's that, that's next Tuesday. This thing could go to fifty. 560 before that then yeah the earnings is no problem it's it's like what five sessions from now six sessions uh so th that's no problem it's usually when it's one or two days away that can be a bit tricky oh peloton if it has earnings well it's not even breaking out so you, you don't have to worry about it but yeah if it has earnings tomorrow uh yeah i would definitely not buy it uh if it breaks out right now there's you know no risk for that since it's not going up CLNE yeah yeah wow good looking one actually surfing the 20 day really nicely I guess I shouldn't have covered my GME and now it's probably gonna go down to 50 bucks without me Fuck no, it can't go to 50. Oh, it's probably gonna do it. Just can't bounce it. Fuel cell. Decent breakout. Yeah, it had a decent breakout down here when I bought it initially. Right now it's inside of a range after being going up over 100%. Wait, is there 700 people in here? Holy shit. I'm gonna cap it to the price of Tesla. Wh whatever the price of Tesla is, that's gonna be the cap for, uh, for the room. So you better, uh, Tesla better not go down a lot. <laughs> in what, what do you mean, what time frame? The price is gonna be the same no matter what time frame. Russell. Well, I don't want 3,000 people here, but if Tesla goes to 3,000, I'll, you know, that's that's where the limit is going to be. And I don't know if there's going to be 3,000 people in here, but... I need more moderators. That's for sure.
oily tips are moving again. I should be grumpy on the interview? Yeah. I'm gonna let my cat do the talking. He's really grumpy. What the? I can't believe this market. It's an endless bull market. Like this constantly you have this ducks double, triple every single day. And it's constantly a lot of good setups. Like every day there's some good setups. Every day there's been something to do. It's pretty amazing. Gotta enjoy while it lasts. This beam is a very good setup. I think someone mentioned it. Wow, this is one hell of a good setup. Look at how nice it's building higher lows, surfing the 20 day, and now lately it's been building higher lows here and it broke out of this range today. That's a good setup. Really, really good setup. Come on, plug. Could 100 already. But it's the same thing like with fuel cell when I bought it here. This is the day I bought it. Look at how it closed, right? And I'm like, ah, uh, it's probably gonna fail, but I'm gonna use the lows of the day as my stop and then and then look at what it did, right? Let, let me look at this thing. So sometimes stocks are really slow. And Shopify too, when we I, I even remember someone freaked out. Like what Shopify did on this day, we bought the opening range. I think, you know what, I need to confirm. I don't, I think it actually stopped us out. No, this is a 60 minutes. So I, I remember this. We bought it somewhere, or I did it at least, like 785 or something like that. 790, opening range highs. And then it kind of dipped. Right after I bought it, it kind of dipped, right? It will almost stop me out. And I remember someone in the chat freaked out that like, oh my god, it's the end of the world. And then it, you know, found new bidders and uh, let's look at the daily, the rest is history. The this, this, this stock went up like, uh, what, 35% in like two weeks. So sometimes even the best breakouts can can be a little bit slow. Sometimes, you know, they, they, get, they can be a bit slow getting going. OEG. Yeah, a few more days would be nice. Um, yeah, it's a solar installation services stock. It's a utility name, very hot sector. What about Snapchat? Is it breakout? All two volume isn't that great. Is it a breakout? Snapchat had a beautiful breakout uh, two days ago. Beautiful breakout. And this, this, these types of stocks, they're always liquid. You don't have to worry about the volume. You don't have to worry about the volume uh, on breakouts. Only on episodic pivots. Breakouts don't have need to have a uh, uh, above average volume, especially not on like large and mega caps. They really don't. They can be average volume and it, it could be fine.
BBBY is fading too. Oh yeah, BB. Nice follow through. Or actually it's barely down, but yeah, I, I think 50 days is gonna be the next target. Where did the squeeze start? It started like 8 bucks, that's when it uh, became a sympathy play, the GME, I think. Yeah. So really... No reason for this thing to stop before 8 bucks. P, V, D, G. I hate uh, OTC symbols, they're so difficult. P, V, D, G. Poverty Dignified, it's a what stock? Solar? The blacker the berry, the sweeter the what? Juice? <laughs> I saw the funniest meme, a buddy sent it to me. The funniest meme on... Yeah, exactly. Biggins or Baggins. What you said, it's got, it's absolutely correct. We haven't had a real multi-year bear market since early Where is that link? Where is the link? Where is it? Oh, this, here it is. I found it. I actually didn't listen to it uh, with the sound on. Wait. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm going to re reload it. Wait, what? Can't I make it bigger? Paper has got shut down. <laughs> So stupid, but so funny. Yeah. When they say hold the line, have they actually said where the line is? Because, uh, you know, the stock is down. Uh, 
or was down yesterday, 85% from highs. Have they specified the pumpers in chief? Have they specified like where the line is? Have I seen short and Belfort? No. Uh, Jordan Belfort. Wolf of Wall Street. Okay, let's see here. Did he did he tweet it? Hey David, I didn't even know you were in the chat. Have a nice day, you too. Don't run out of ammo. JB. Where the fuck did it go? Here. Can this alert stop coming? I'm trying to watch a video. Thanks. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's another oil ETF. Oh, no, it's not. What is this? Go. What's this? It's, um, uh, uh, what? Natural gas stock? Some kind of a natural gas related thing. Apple car? Okay. Wait, Apple car? It's an Apple car angle. I don't know what an Apple car is, but I'm gonna. I bet they're gonna push it higher. It's like an Apple. Is it Apple looking car? That would be ugly as fuck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't use Robin Hood. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, yeah, you're the little guy here. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. How much how much does that watch cost? Can you tell us? Is that a blow? All express watch, okay. But it is fucking well done, <laughs> I admit that.
<laughs> that, that was that was good. That was pretty good. That that was really good. That was good. That was good. I've actually watched the uh, Jordan Belfort podcast on YouTube a couple of times. He has some good content. Markets don't look too good right now. Oh, now the candles are back on Ethereum, GBTC, or ETH and GBTC, not Ethereum. That was weird. That was super weird. What do you mean, my plug wick? Guys. Stop blaming me for all different types of things. It's not my fault. My fault. Stocks go up and down. <laughs> it's my fault turning... 5k into 55 million, yes. I'm up 50k, 50%, uh, nah, I'm up, probably up maybe 20, 30% on the year. Actually, I don't know the exact, the exact, I don't remember how much I started the year with. It's just a video game at this point, it's just numbers. Um, my focus is stick to good setups with good risk management and Hearts of Iron 4. That's all I, all I care about. R everything else takes care of, it, care, of, care of themselves, or itself, I mean.
MSDR is relentless. Wow. And it showed its hands. It, it showed relative strength uh, rel uh, versus Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin hit the 50 day, this thing hit the 20 day. Bitcoin retested the 50 day. This thing, it just broke out. You know, the stock, it screamed at us. It screamed at us. I want to go higher. It's your job to identify these things. It's your job to listen. We are in the listening business. What's your broker general uh, Sosa? E-Trade? I don't think I can open E-Trade. I, I tried to open it. I don't think they um, accept foreign accounts anymore or European accounts. I, I tried to, like I want a broker that uh, has uh, like a uh, flat fee, no matter how many shares. Like all my brokers, they change uh, shards per share, so you can get really, you know, low price stocks. It's uh, it's very hard for me to trade. It's after the new regulations from the EU. Trade zero. They have a flat fee. Cobra trading. Guardian trading. Wait, trade zero. Trade zero. That was is isn't that like an offshore broker? No flat fee. Oh no, I'm not gonna do anything uh, offshore. I, I'm done with that. I, I did offshore uh, when I tried to get my account over the PDT rule and that's that. Um. Cobra only has per uh, per share. Light speed, it's like uh, light speed. Four fifty per trade. Whoa, oh, wow, that would oh holy shit, that's pretty cheap. Trade lightspeed.com. Their web page is not working. Wait, light. Can you guys get into Lightspeed uh, homepage? Goldman Prime Broker, yeah. John Schwab. Mm. Well, uh, light. Uh well, Sterling, a Sterling platform almost also has GTC orders.
so um, um, so lightspeed that's lightspeed.com right I, I can't get into their site it's down is it down oh now I get in I now I got in I didn't get in like two minutes ago okay yeah there's so many brokers it's so hard to know which ones are like like th there's always like all the brokers are good at something and really bad at something else that's the problem I want to find the perfect broker it's so hard why does it have to be so hard see a lot of things fading IB, yeah, they're fairly good. Could be better. Their margin requirements are so so, but. Problem with center point, they don't have the uh, flat share. Like, I love center point, uh, but. Looks like my SPE stopped me out. So they tried to do a sucker rally, I guess. Yes, the TWS platform is uh, it's it's just way too complicated, man. There's it's it's there's too many things going on. I, I don't know. Like I don't even understand 99% of the functionality on the platform. <laughs> it, it's it's impossible to know. Yeah, I know you can use Dust Trader. I know, I know. I am aware, which is pretty damn good. Um, So far not looking great. That's what was so confusing because after GME crashed, which you know, there was suddenly a lot of good looking setups in among the large cap stocks. Usually you there's always like in my experience there's always a correction after you get these types of manias. And that that was what it was so confusing. I'm like I never seen it before. And now, you know, they offer per trade. Wait, wait, what? They do? I need to check. For only so many shares? Yeah.
I'm actually looking some of the Swedish brokers because still like I you know no taxes would be a pretty good deal I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to short US stocks and I wouldn't be able to go and march in overnight but you know not but pay, paying like I don't know one percent tax or something like that per year it's pretty 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 um, attractive proposition I'm actually gonna the fields are probably gonna be um, and I wouldn't be able to trade ETFs yeah of course yeah yeah no pre-market or after hours oh fuck man the Swedish man like oh so annoying maybe I would just do like position trades type of uh, like longer term plays like it, when I yeah may, maybe I'll start with a smaller amount and just do longer term stuff uh, 20 million yeah. Yeah, but Paridu is shit. They have shit commissions. I've checked them. I, I know some other people have uh, recommended them. Well, there's many different ways. I, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I, there's many different ways. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. I'm just looking at options. I'm trying to get a full picture um, of things. I messaged you for this morning. No, that was several days ago. Let's see here. Uh... Wait. Hey, Furdong, you you you, to you talked about Regal trading, but you linked uh, uh, Lightspeed. Guardian trading. Yeah, I'm just trying to get an um, overview of what's out there. I, I know I asked it before, but... Oh, Furdong. Oh, that was Stock Daddy. No, wait, who was it? Yeah, there's a lot of a uh, lot of options. Um. Like I still think plug is gonna be an insane, insane, insane trade. Either way, it breaks, it breaks down or breaks up. I hope it breaks out, but 
Yeah. Oh my god, PDD. Okay, full disclosure, that was me selling after hours. I had to get rid of exposure. I had too much. Uh, I, I had to push it down like 178 after hours to get rid of my shares. Because I, I did the math wrong. After market had closed, I realized I was long too many, too much equity. I had to size down. And that's the one. That's the one that's up a lot today. So stupid. So stupid. Guardian is a scam. Someone just said it's a great guard. Now someone is. That's what I like. People all like. Why is it a scam? Um. Someone else just said it's really good. <laughs> Regal is a great broker. Regal Guardian. I still haven't get it. Like, can, can someone? Can someone send the Guardian link? <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> no, not Guardian, wait. Which one was I? No, 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 not go. Wait, what the fuck? There's so many of them. No, Guardian, that one I have. Uh, Regal, Regal Trading, Regal Trading. <laughs> That's the one I want to link to. Uh, I didn't find it. Do I like Guardian better or Centerpoint? Dude, I don't have Guardian trading. I have no idea. <laughs> yes, yes, I know I should contact someone, but I, I still want to link to the web page. <laughs> I can't, I can't find Regal Trading. It's some kind of a paper company in the UK. That's all I get. Eregal.com. Yeah, but the link doesn't work. Can anyone get to the eregal.com? I found it on Google, but I can't into the link. It's blank. Look at this. What does this mean? It works? Why doesn't it? Oh, maybe they don't want offshore clients. Okay, anywho. Worse in Germany? Why can't I get into it? What the fuck? Do you use a VPN? Yeah. Let's see. Nope, can't get in. Okay, I'll 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 check it later. I'll I'll check it. Need I need to. Uh, there's too many things going on right now. Um. Oh, okay. Chiemi just broke this range. That's oh. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. 
Heel top securities? I don't know what that is either. <laughs> Guys, he's just throwing words out there. I have no idea what any of it means. <laughs> Hold the line, Guardian good things, Saxo Bank, um. Guardians of the Galaxy, I'm gonna trade with Guardians of the Galaxy. Just so you know, I'm going places. I'm gonna be with the Guardians of Galaxy from now on. <laughs> with a small up, well, yeah, well, the, th the problem is the pattern day trader rule. That's a, that's a bitch. But once you get over the pattern day trader rule, you actually do have a lot of options. But yes, obviously you have a little bit more options if you have a bigger account, but there, there's plenty of options. You really don't need to do any advanced stuff. I mean, literally, you know, trading the simple EPs or... The, the only thing... You need an advanced broker for is uh, really shorting. That's the only thing. And, and guys, I, I, like I said many times before, I don't recommend any of you to, to do any shorting. It's too, it's too difficult. Most of you will blow up. Stick to episodic pivots and breakouts. You can do it with whatever broker, pretty much, almost, almost. They need they need to uh, allow pre-market after hours trading too. Uh, but other than that. You know, you, you really don't need anything advanced. So, you know, you can't, you know, someone complained to me on Twitter, uh, like a uh, the other day about, uh, like this small guy had not having a lot of options. It's, it's just a shitty excuse. You know, don't make excuses. There, there, there's a, there's plenty of options. You don't need to do anything advanced to turn a small account into a huge account. You really don't. You don't need to do options, you don't need to do shorting. Just a basic broker that allows... Like a, the only thing I think you need is a pre-market and after hours uh, trading. That's that's it. Just so you can get out of... You know, if you get stopped out in pre-market or after hours on news or something like that, you need to be able to get rid of it. Other than that, don't make, you, don't make excuses. Don't make you, you yourself a victim. You know it's not gonna you, you know it's not gonna help you in any way. No, I don't do a lot of trading after hours in pre-market. Only when I get stopped out of a position, pretty much. So don't, they don't accept Sweden? Fuckers. Irregal. That's why I can't get into their web page. Oh, now, now it works. Okay. Now it works. Um, let's see here. Uh, international accounts. Yeah, they don't actually, uh, so what, uh, I don't know what unsolicited accounts means, but from what I understand, they don't, no, I didn't say you were making or anyone here was making excuses, but you know, uh, you know, someone, you know, tweeted me yesterday and it was just annoying. 
Um, Man, I don't know what the hell I'm trying to do here. Everything is just... My trading today is not good. I, I took two losses on plug. Lost 605k on that. What can I say? Welcome to trading size. Uh... I got stopped at a BB, no, not BB, SB, I mean. Hey, guys, thanks for all the help. Thanks for all the help and suggestions. I really appreciate it. This is one of the reasons I started streaming. Because there's all these people who, uh, you know, can help you out with stuff you yourself don't have any idea about. It's really good. Tilray. Tilray, I have... Yeah, it's up 20%. Yeah, I sold some free market. Um, Let's see if Tesla can hold these rising moving averages at 20 and 65 EMAs. Again, Tesla is the... Like, you know, as long as Tesla holds up, there's going to be a lot of speculation money. That's my thesis, at least. GSX, I'm out. I'm covered. Yeah. This one's a really good one, also. So now I'm not really short anything, right? Am I short anything? Nope. 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 Oh, I am still short BB. Oh yeah, that that one. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have bought one one another one more uh, wheat stock yesterday. Those those are really really working well. I only bought Tilray. I I just went long, yeah. <laughs> Gee, I mean, I I think it doesn't look much on the on the on the sixty, but on the daily, it put, it put in another week below the twenty and then a higher low, and you can clearly see it like here. It is kind of trying to break the downtrend. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it bounces to, like, 150. I mean, it could very easily bounce to 150, make a 50% move, you know? So, you know, I, I took a starter, like, half size, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Hold the line, yeah. I don't care any of that. I, I have no problems being short one day and long the next. Or coming in short and then going long. Like this, you know, like this plug for example. Like this thing, I was trying to short it a couple of days ago. Then I tried to long it today. Uh, obviously it's still in stuck in the range. Tesla too. Like I, I, sh I was short, right? I was short like two days ago and now yesterday I bought it. I have no problems. 
I don't care about these memes. I, I don't care about all the cult mentality, all the stupidity going on. Or I do care uh, because that gives us opportunities. But, you know, you need to educate yourself. And then you don't have to be in one of these stupid communities pumping out memes. And being the sucker. Don't be the sucker, that's all I'm gonna say. Don't be the sucker. And don't be the guy blaming everyone else for your own, for your losses. <clears throat> uh, GBTC, uh, when you wait for a breakout, where? 39.15? Well, because it, uh, well, yeah, I, I see what you mean, but you know, it was a little bit of a tricky one, but I don't, I don't care about it. Where the f I'm gonna show you the cheap uh, Bitcoin short because Bitcoin broke. It's uh, get lost. Fuck, trading you is so slow. What the hell is going on? BTC USD. Man, trading view is so slow for me. Is it my, like, is it my Chrome? What does CP have for foreign users? My Bitcoin started breaking out uh, yesterday. That's why I bought it. That's why I bought GBTC. Wait, what? Uh, thousand bucks? Really? What? Okay. Um, this later prompt. That's VIPs and calls. No, I don't do any longer term uh, things. Trading is uh, what gives me the best return on my money and I um, aggressively try to uh, grow my trading account. You always want to be in what gives you the best uh, risk reward for your money. I, I think retirement accounts are not really great risk rewards. Not if you can, uh, you know, get much better risk risk, uh, risk reward um, trading actively. CTRM good setup. Uh, no, not yet. Maybe in a few days. I, I, it's getting tight, but I think it knows it needs more sideways. No, 25k is the limit for PDT, right? Or have they changed it? What's... Okay. All right, I'm going to cut the stream now. Thanks for all the suggestions on brokers and stuff like that. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck.